Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for coming back. So today's video is going to be an and other stories try on haul. So obviously as we are now getting into spring summer, I'm definitely sort of shopping around a little bit to see you know what's out there um, and get quite excited for <laughs> spring and summer clothes. It's definitely my favorite season. So as you can see, I'm already very much in the spring summer mood. This dress is from H&M, it's gorgeous. It's like a kind of smock dress. Hopefully you guys can see, um, but yeah, definitely in that mood already. So I have quite a few kind of basics from And Other Stories, but I also have a couple of coats, jackets, but like spring, summer appropriate. Um, so I thought I would do a haul and show you them. I'm just gonna try the things on and talk about them as I have them on, because I think it's just a nicer way of you guys sort of being able to see the item. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So first up, I have this white t-shirt. Sorry about the white on white again. Um, I think this is the only other white piece I have, so should be okay for the rest of the video. But I also put this up in a black and a gray. So I always get my basics from either And Other Stories or Arquette. They both have really, really good basics. They're always amazing quality. They wash really well. So if you're looking for some good basic sort of like t-shirts, long sleeve tees, stuff like that, then I would really recommend checking the two of them out. Um, but this is such nice quality. It's really quite thick. Um, but not like too thick that you're going to get too hot in it and um, just a nice kind of thickness that you wouldn't kind of see your bra through and everything like that and I loved the shape of this so I love the longer sleeves on it I thought that was quite cool and it's also a little bit cropped so if I pull it out of my jeans it kind of hits just above my hips um, which is great for tucking in because there's not like loads of excess material as you can see I've just tucked it in really really easily there so yeah I love it it's got quite a high neck too which is going to look so nice paired with like jackets blazers and stuff like that yeah I think it's so so nice it's kind of casual with the kind of length of the sleeves but as I said you can definitely dress it up with like a blazer or something over the top. So next up, this is the grey t-shirt, and I love grey t-shirts, especially paired with blue denim. I just think it's so nice and casual and relaxed. I just pop a pair of like white trainers on and a blazer or a jacket, and I just think like you're good to go. You look kind of like effortless um, without really kind of trying too hard. So yeah, again, literally it's the exact same, same shape. Um, it's this really nice kind of grey kind of marl colour, which I think is really, really nice. So yeah, love this. I also think it's really nice dressed up too with a pair of heels. Um, I think that's the beauty of like a plain t-shirt like this is you can dress it down or dress it up. And lastly this is the black one so I just checked and I am wearing all of these in a size small and it was £27 and they are all made from 100% organic cotton so that's why they feel so nice and the quality is just amazing. So I also just quickly wanted to show you this top which is from H&M so it's kind of the same brand like they are owned by the same people so thought I would pop it in here um, but this is from H&M Studio so H&M Studio collection is like this really cool collection that they release kind of every now and then and often sells out quite quickly but I do think this top is actually still in stock so um, I thought I would kind of feature it so it's this really nice kind of silky little blouse and it has really cute kind of sleeves with the frill there I'm just conscious because it is quite low cut so I'm like <laughs> trying to make sure I don't like you know slip a boob out or whatever um but yeah it has a really cute kind of frill on the sleeves there which I think is so nice and then it also has the frill detailing down the front it's just really, really detailed, and I always think that these um, studio collections are very kind of like designer inspired. Um, so they are a little bit more expensive, but definitely a lot cheaper than buying actual designer. So yeah, I just thought this would be so nice on holiday with like a pair of denim shorts, and I'll probably wear a little bra underneath because it is quite low cut. Um, a pair of denim shorts or a skirt or something, or even jeans in the summer uh, with some heels, you know, out for dinner. I'll show you the back as well. So the back also has kind of like that nice shaping to it as well. So I will link this down below if it is still in stock. So the next piece is this trench coat. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, which if you don't, I'll put my name on the screen here. It's just at rubyholly underscore. Uh, you'll know that I'm obsessed with trench coats. I absolutely love them. I think they're such a good kind of versatile piece. You can wear them all year round. I layer them up in the winter with like a bigger coat over the top and then they're perfect for spring and autumn and the summer as well in those slightly kind of colder days. This one is obviously from And Other Stories. It's a really nice kind of beigey color. I love this color. I think it goes so nicely with so many colors. It goes nicely with white. It goes nicely with the blue denim. Also looks nice with black and gray and everything like that and cream. So yeah, it's a great color. This is quite thin. It's very kind of lightweight, which trench coats are um, kind of meant to be because they are just kind of like loose and casual and relaxed so yeah I really really like this I love the buttons on it I think they're so nice also comes with a belt which has an actual kind of proper belt so if you wanted to 
you could kind of wear it done up. I probably wouldn't, I prefer them kind of open, but yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's so nice. Hopefully you can see how long it is. I'll pan down in a second and show you, but this is the back of it. Um, so yeah, it's very nice and lightweight. It's a nice length as well. I prefer trench coats when they're a little bit longer and kind of a bit more oversized and they look kind of cooler like that. Um, and this is pretty much how I'd wear it with just like a white t-shirt, blue denim, maybe even like a cream jumper like I said, but I'd also pair it with like an all black outfit and boots and I'd also pair it with some dresses. So even that white H&M dress that I wore at the beginning, I think this would look really, really nice paired with that. It's really cute. It has the little sort of ties at the side there as well you can see which obviously matches the belt so there we go that's the length there so it does just come like just kind of by my shin like halfway up my shin um, I keep going to put my hands in my pockets but these are closed at the moment um, and I want to be 100% sure I'm keeping it before I open them I do have loads of trench coats so that's why I'm like wanting to kind of be sure about it um before I open the pockets but yeah I really really like it it's very very nice very comfy really really good quality it fits nicely so yeah very happy with this one if you're looking for a trench I would recommend I think this was around the 200 pound mark it is quite an expensive one um but and other stores is quite an expensive brand um for the high street so I just thought I would show you this trench coat styled up like how I would wear it sort of out and about so I popped the little cap on which is from Zara my Ray-Ban sunnies on um, and then it's the same outfit that you saw earlier. I've also popped my mini Jodie Bottega bag on and then I've got my Converse on as well. And this is just like a super kind of casual look that I'd wear like day to day, going shopping, going for lunch when we can do those things or even just going for like a little coffee run, meeting a friend for a walk, whatever it is. Okay, so next up we have this blazer. So it's quite oversized. I'm wearing this in a size 12, um, so I think it's already kind of oversized anyway. Um, but I love it. I've been looking for quite like a masculine fit blazer in black for a while now. I do already have a black blazer, but it's much more fitted. And I wanted something super oversized so that I could like belt it uh, and I could just kind of chuck it on, even if I wear it over my shoulders or even if I wear it like this. I just want something really, really casual that kind of just looks like I've like chucked on my boyfriend's blazer or something. That's kind of the idea with this. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Black blazer, it has slight shoulder pads just for the structure there. And then it goes down to just sort of like mid thigh length and the sleeves are quite long as well. As you can see, they do kind of cover my knuckles, but I really like that. This is kind of the perfect fit. I'm so glad I got it in this size. Pretty simple, really. I'll show you the back. It just looks like a plain sort of blazer. Nothing, nothing too exciting, but this is definitely such a good wardrobe staple. I get so much use out of black blazers, even in the winter and the summer as well. I think they're like an all year round piece. I always keep mine out because as I said, I love it like on an evening, you know, like paired with like jeans, a little top and some heels in the summer, but then also in the winter, it's a great layering piece to wear under coats and stuff like that, to wear over like, you know, black roll necks and stuff. Um, and I also think it looks so nice, like worn with little dresses belted and then like bare legs and some boots or something so yeah loads of ways to wear these blazers i also have a little hack for blazers well it's not my hack i don't actually know where i got it from but i always roll the sleeves up and often with blazers like this they just fall down so let me show you i just get a hairband so it doesn't have to be one of these just any old hairband is fine and you just pop it up the sleeves like so and then you just pull it up and kind of tuck the top of the sleeve around the hairband so you can't see it and then look it stays up it's literally the best hack ever i love it it's so comfy as well uh, and i just personally think like having the sleeves kind of rolled up just makes it look that little bit kind of cooler so yeah little hack for you there <laughs> i'm sure most of you probably knew that anyway but if you didn't then there you go <laughs> so this next top is so nice i really didn't expect to like it as much as i do so it's this uh long sleeve kind of tight um top that has this asymmetric kind of off the shoulder detail and actually it's really good because this detail here is like you fold it down so you could actually wear it more like that like perhaps you wanted to wear this for work or something uh, and you still want to have like that nice neck detail but you don't want it to be kind of too much kind of chest on show but then you know after work drinks <laughs> um you can just kind of fold it down 
and um, it makes for a really, really nice kind of quite dressy top. Um, it's a really nice stretchy fabric as well you can see like it's got so much stretch in it and it's so so comfy like this is the kind of stuff that i love to wear out because it is just so comfy um but it's quite thin as well so you're not going to get too hot in it again it has that kind of long sleeve detail i've just popped on a little bit more jewelry just to dress it up a little bit but i think it's so nice i'm really really pleasantly surprised with this one and i really hope they bring it out in like a white or something i think that would be nice for the summer i've just paired this with a pair of black trousers which i'm going to talk to you in a minute they're a little bit small for me so just ignore that <laughs> but yeah i think it's really cute i'll show you the back as well so that is what the back looks like so just that off the shoulder detail which i think is really nice very very happy with this and it's honestly like it's so stretchy like i could proper bust some moves come june 21st um, if you're not from the uk you're gonna have no idea what i'm talking about um but that is when we're supposedly going to be going back to like normal so we're going with it <laughs> um but yeah really really like this i think it's really good for work um one with some tailored trousers and then i also think it's great for like an evening one with some jeans to casual it down a little bit uh, maybe like a big leather jacket over your shoulders or something like that i am wearing this in a size small and it was 65 pounds so it was actually quite expensive but i think it might be to do with the material but i am planning on keeping it because i know i'm going to get so much wear out of it it's going to be one of those tops you know and it's like jeans and a nice top dress code this is the one that i'm going to go for because especially when you're going out for dinner and stuff like you just want to be comfy or sat at your desk and whatever so yeah really really like this and i will link it down in the description box below so now to talk about the trousers hopefully you can see them i know black clothing often doesn't pick up too well on camera annoyingly but yeah they are a high-waisted wide leg trouser so oh i wish you could see the kind of detail better but they have quite a thick waistband there and then they just go down into like a fly and unfortunately they are a little bit tight around my stomach so if you are perhaps more like pear shaped like i am then these might not be right for you i think i'm going to send these ones back because they are just a bit tight around my stomach and bum and then they're kind of on my legs kind of perfect so i wouldn't want to size up because then they'd kind of be too big so yeah anyway um but they have pockets which is a really nice detail and then yeah you can see the wide leg detail but i actually think these are really nice trousers and they are very well made um really good quality and i do think they're really flattering apart from this section here for me so i'm not going to keep them but i do think they'd be really good in someone who had maybe a slightly different body shape to me um and yeah they're really comfy i love wide leg trousers because i think they're great for work great for dressing up um you know to go on an evening out with a pair of heels but i also think they look so nice warm with just like a pair of converse and like a sweatshirt and a coat i think they're really kind of cool kind of casual vibes as well so there's loads of ways you can wear them and i do think having a nice pair of black um wide leg trousers is a little bit of a staple in your wardrobe and that's all year round as well i'll pop them on with a pair of heels just so you can see okay so that's them on with a pair of heels now i'm five foot five um and they actually don't touch the floor with heels on when i didn't have my heels on they did kind of only just skim the floor so it's actually not too bad if they fit me a little bit better around here i'd definitely keep them so next up we have this blazer dress and i can't decide with this one part of me loves it i think it's a really really nice shape i think it really kind of sucks you in here um, because it is quite a thick material uh, i love the color of it i think it's a good length as well as you can see it comes sort of like midway up my thigh um i love the kind of big structured shoulders there's a lot that i really really like about this dress if i come in a little bit closer um the only thing that i'm not or i'm not 100 percent sure on is it is quite a thick material so i do think if you were wearing this like in a restaurant or somewhere like that you might get quite hot in it um but because it's thick it really does kind of like i don't know it just sucks you in really nicely i feel like it's so so flattering on my shape and um, the only other thing i'm not 100 percent sure on is these are poppers and poppers notoriously do like kind of pull because they're not kind of super strong like a button is so this here is a button and obviously that one doesn't pull kind of as much as these poppers so that's the only thing i'm a little bit not sure on. i don't know if maybe my hips are making these pull a little bit but i wouldn't want to size up because then i wouldn't get that nice kind of detailing at the waist there um so that's the one thing i'm not sure on. and also because they're poppers i'm like really conscious that they could literally pop open and if they do like everything is out <laughs> do you know what i mean so i just think it would have maybe been better if they were buttons or i don't know maybe if there was just a little bit more material here but i suppose maybe it's just the fact that my hips are maybe just not quite right for this dress um but it is quite stretchy as well to be fair like oh wow did we see that <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know because I absolutely love the shape of it, but yeah, the popper situation isn't ideal. Maybe even like a hook and eye would have been better. I don't know. Something a little bit more secure. But I do think if you have slightly smaller hips than me, um, I'm about a 10 on the bottom half, um, and this is a size 10. So I do think if you have slightly smaller hips, you'd probably be fine because they wouldn't be kind of pulling as much. Um, but I don't know. I really, really like it. So I'm sad to kind of have to send it back. It's really nice kind of here as well. It's not too low. It cuts like really nice and flattering. Um, I love the lapels. They're kind of like nice and structured. I love the um, shoulder pads there. They're actually quite big, but I love that. And then if I show you the back as well, I don't even know what the back looks like, but this is the back on me. So yeah, I do think this would be so nice. It'd be so nice if you worked like a really smart office job and you had like loads of cool meetings and you could like rock up in this. Um, but it would also be really nice for, like I said, like dinner out, drinks or whatever, um, just as long as you don't get kind of too hot. But I mean, we're probably gonna be doing that sort of thing outside these days, so probably will be all right for that. <laughs> um, but I love the color of it. I think it's so, so flattering. So yeah, I don't know, I'm in two minds about it. I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of it purely because I think I'm going to be a bit nervous about the poppers, but it is beautiful. So I don't know, you guys will have to let me know what you think down below in the comments. Lastly, we have this blazer. So obviously you guys can tell I've got quite a few blazers in this video, but I won't be keeping this one um, purely because it is a little bit too small for me. And the story sizing seems to be really small. Um, I bought all of this in a 10, which is my normal size, and I'm normally like an eight to 10 actually. Uh, and I can't even do this one up. So obviously if you could do the button of this one up, it would create like a really nice silhouette and it would be really, really nice. But um, yeah, can't do that with this one. So I'm just wearing it open, which is also obviously another way you could wear it. It's this kind of like creamy oatmeal-y colour. So I've just paired it with a white t-shirt so you can really see, you know, it's actually quite like a darker cream. Uh, but I think it goes really nice with white and I think it goes really nice with blue denim like this. Uh, and I think it'd be great for like work, for evenings out, uh, for daytime. I think this would pair so nicely with like my white Gucci loafers, a little like basket bag or something as we go more into spring. But I also think this would be so nice for like a spring summer wedding. You know, if you're wearing maybe a strappy dress and you want a little bit more coverage and uh, maybe a little bit more kind of heat, <laughs> um, then I think this would be really nice kind of over your shoulders. It's a really nice one, it's very well made. I like the button's the same color as the blazer, it just creates like a nice kind of seamless feel. Has the two pockets there, I'll show you the back as well. This is what the back looks like. I do really like it, but it's definitely not for me. I prefer my blazers a little bit more oversized. And uh, yeah, but I do think it's a really nice blazer. So if you're on the hunt for something like this, then as I said, I will link it down below. So this would probably be how I would style this kind of blazer. As I said, I've got my white loafers on and then just like a big kind of beachy style bag or straw bag. This is a Prada one, a vintage one. I just think it's like a nice kind of tonal spring summer look. So guys, that is the end of my video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your comments are, whether you liked something, whether you didn't. I'd love to know. And as I said, I will link absolutely everything in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I'll pop my Instagram on the side here. It's where I will be styling all of these things up. So if there's ever anything you see in a haul that you like, or you don't know how to style it, then head on over to my Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.